What's going on everybody? It's Aaron Cates and I'm coming at you with another video today. Now I'm starting this video off a little bit differently. You guys haven't seen this style in the driveway, but I figured I'd try something different for y'all. I'm trying to figure out what you guys like video wise. Sorry if you hear meowing in the background, that is my cat. For some reason he's not very happy right now. But today's video is going to be, do I think you should get a body lift because now I've been running around with on my truck for almost a week now so I kind of have a feel for it and I'm not really sure how I feel I like it because it made the truck taller but I don't like that you can see the frame right here I don't like the gap in the back and something that is bothering me like really bad right now is the fact that I don't have the rear bumper bracket it's like it is driving me crazy all I think about, like, anytime I pass, like, a nice truck or something on the road, I'm like, they're going to be like, oh, that's a nice truck, and then they're going to get behind me, and they're like, and then there's that. So, I have to fix that soon. I either got to buy brackets, make brackets, something. I got to figure out a way to fix that. But, I'm going to list the good and the bad to this body lift. And why I think you should get it, or if you shouldn't get it. Right off the bat is if you're trying to gain height to fit, whether you're wanting to fit the bigger tires, the wider wheels, you're wanting more ground clearance. The thing with a body lift versus like a suspension lift, a suspension lift, hear my neighbor yelling in the background, he does that a lot, but a suspension lift takes all the components and picks them up like for instance, the sits in rough country lift, it raises the bo like the bottom of the frame, like your lower control arms and everything, six inches off the ground. So it picks everything up six inches. What a body lift does, the three inch body lift just picks up the cab and the bed three inches. So you're not really getting any ground clearance there. So if you're wanting to put a body lift on to go off-roading and you're like, I want more ground clearance, the only way you're really going to get ground clearance out of a body lift is by bit putting bigger tires on it. So if you're wanting ground clearance, I don't suggest a body lift. If you're wanting ground clearance, I suggest a suspension lift. If you're wanting just a lift to clear bigger tires or wider wheels, body lift all day because... Almost every body lift I could find online is under $400. That's about the price for a name brand leveling kit. Like a Rough Country leveling kit or a three and a half inch kit is around $400. That's, you're getting a three inch body lift, which is a true three inches. Most of them with a three and a half inch lift kit, you're probably gonna get two to three inches out of it. But it's usually like a leveling kit. And what that does is just put everything maxed out. You put a body lift on, you're not messing with any angles. You don't have to do an alignment, and alignments are like $100. So you're adding that $100 on top of the price of the suspension lift if you get a suspension lift. So I definitely suggest, if you're wanting bigger wheels and tires, body lift. Something I don't like about the body lift is, like I mentioned, the frame, the gaps, the bumper's not lining up right just doesn't look clean in my opinion and that's something I'm not really a fan of but they make gap guards you can paint the frame you can get steps to hide it those are all things that you can hide and you don't have to worry about steps causing any ground clearance with this because the frame is already lower so if it's gonna hit the step it's gonna hit the frame you don't have to worry about that like I said the bumpers not lining up the same because as you can see, I have the front bumper relocation and it's not lined up the same. But I wasn't really too worried about it because these trucks are known for having the sagging front bumper. Uh, after a while, these front bumpers like to come down in the back or go down in the front or twist. So I wasn't really worried about that. I plan on building an off-road style bumper for the front anyways. And then I can make my own mounts for it and I can line it up perfectly and it will look factory like line uh, like alignment wise so that's something I'm not too worried about but that's something you can kind of like put in your mind if you're thinking about buying a body lift is bumpers not lining up right 
the gaps. You might want gap guards, you might want to paint your frame, but they're not necessities. They're just, they're visual flaws in my opinion. Another thing that goes unnoticed because it is not visual from the outside is the engine bay being different. I personally think this is a benefit because it gives you more room in that engine bay to get to things. Like, let me show you something real quick. See right here, at the end of my finger? That's my spark plugs. I would not have been able to get to them this easily if it were not for this body lift. Like, changing spark plugs or the exhaust manifolds, anything like that is going to be so much easier now because I have this body lift. And that's just something that goes unnoticed because it's not really a visual aspect of the truck. People don't think about that gap being in the engine bay but i take it as a benefit because you can reach so much more now the engine's lower down so that firewall that caves backwards where the engine is is now a lot more accessible with your hands you don't have to pull so many things apart just to get to something you can now just reach around the back of the engine and grab it now that might not be a problem for a lot of you because i know so many people just take their vehicles to the shop and have things done so it's out of sight out of mind they pay someone else to do it it's no longer a problem, but for someone, like some of you that are like me, that fix everything yourself, that that's a huge benefit. So, do I think you should get a body lift? Yeah, why not? Try it out. If you don't like it, you can always take it off, you can always sell it. You might lose $100 or so, but then you know. You, you can't just sit there and be like, oh, I hate body lifts, and not really have a reason why, because... Yeah, I, I never really thought I'd put a body lift on a truck because I used to talk so down on them because I was like, oh, they leave this big gap, the bumper relocation, like all these things. I always talked down on them, but it was because I really didn't know what all went into it. And now that I've pretty much maxed out my suspension, I wanted my truck to be taller, so I put a body lift on it. And... I can still get a little bit taller with bigger tires, but that's about it. Unless I go full-blown expensive suspension lift, which probably not going to happen. Let's be realistic. That's about the only way I would get taller. So, I just want to tell you guys, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you have a body lift on your truck, or if you hate body lifts, or you'd rather just do a body lift instead of a suspension lift, or... Let me know, guys. Thank y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video.